you a fun show tonight. Yeah. Where? Where? Oh, oh right, right here. here. Coming out here any minute. Buddy Rich is appearing at Disneyland this week, and Snow White and her little friends will never be the same. No, Buddy's a... <laughs> but Buddy spends a lot of time in Tomorrowland. You know that, don't you? Yes. <laughs> Would you welcome Mr. Humility, Buddy Rich. Nobody else but you. Isn't that nice to have a song that you can walk? I don't have a, a song like that. I now. didn't recognize it while you were singing it. <laughs> <clears throat> what is it? No, my buddy. <clears throat> is that what that was? That's a very pretty song. Oh, uh, it was. Huh. No, don't start being hostile. Why didn't you do this last bit instead of the monologue? That was really funny. Well, what was You like the last Yeah, one? I loved it. Yeah. You like things that have to do with death and dying. And sickness, and... yeah. Yes. Okay. How have you been? What's wrong? What? It's cracked. Your finger? Yes. Playing tennis yesterday. Well, I thought you did it uh, maybe on the drums. No, no, no. No, I'm not that lucky. I played tennis yesterday with my daughter, and she sailed one in, and I tried to catch it. D didn't you have a racket? <laughs> no. See, the idea of the play, game, this, this is your main problem, you see, uh, probably with the game. That, right. that you try to catch them rather than hitting them back I with play a racket. Brooklyn, I play the Brooklyn style, handball. Oh, you mean it was going out or something? And yeah, it was out of bounds, and I reached up and looked into the sun, and the ball came down and just whacked me out. That hurts. Baseball players do that a lot, don't they, where they catch them right on the end of the... Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then now, did it break it? Or? No, it's cracked and... Uh, well, doesn't that a break? Yeah, but it's not really a bad break. You know, I'll be able to play. It's a bad crack. It's a bad crack. <laughs> Can you... Don't do that. <laughs> Let's they got a metal plate down there. We ought to put a metal plate in your head. There is. Really ought to there is. There is. No, don't. Don't do that. I'm trying to be really nice today. My daughter's here, and I, you know, I don't want to come on bad. That's right, Kathy. She's a lovely young girl, and she, she sings well, she and she's going to do a number, number for us later tonight. Yes. I remember when she was 12 and she was singing, and she was... Me too. Cute as then. Well, of course, you, her father, you'd remember that. <laughs> but she's now uh, about 19 years old. She's 19 years old, Don. That's what I said, 19. That's what I said. It's my kid. <laughs> well... We'll talk to her about that. Yes. Uh, we'll talk to her mother about that. <laughs> you're you're going to do that. What, what have you been doing? You, I understand you are uh, not on the road again. We're, we're at Disneyland now. This is our second week. And we've got about uh, three or four. You've been out there for a week? Yeah. We I opened, thought you were uh, just opening. No, no. We opened last Saturday. And somebody tell me you're breaking all records out yes. there. It's absolutely incredible. Yeah. The business is really Did that surprise phenomenal. you? No, no. Because uh, <laughs> when we were out there last year. No, it doesn't surprise me. The band's great. <laughs> uh, we were out there last year and we did. Just great business, and they brought us back again uh, this year. And they've asked us to come back for the Easter holiday, which is unusual because they don't usually bring bands back twice in uh, one year. That must make you real happy, though, really. It does. It does, because now I have at least two places to go to this year. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we can think of a third. I've, no. already, I've already thought of that. I see. I'm going to make that Pan Am trip. No, it would. Uh, that's true. That was true. People think I made that up. To do the joke, that is absolutely true. It was in the New York Times here, though, or the Los Angeles Times. No, it couldn't have been a joke, because it wasn't that funny. Well, you're true. That's true. Let's don't have to give jokes points. That's not the, what we're here for. No, if we obviously. Had to, if we had to give guest points on a zero to ten. What would you do? Uh, you wouldn't be here for a couple of years yet. <laughs> but you don't. Oh. No. Oh. Well, you're getting cruel tonight. No, no, I'm... See, I'm a lot of people, when they get injured, you've heard that when they're sick, immediately attack people close to them, and ones That's that they really love. Right. I really love you, Johnny. You know... We do so many things on the road, and every place I go, every city we go to, they always ask, How is, what's Johnny really like? You know, you know that. I'm afraid to ask um, what your answer to that query is. That's exactly what I say. <laughs> Joe, that, that, that was cruel. That was swell. That, that was absolutely... <laughs> It was abs that, that hurt. I had to use that word to ask that. Don't, don't, don't worry to oh, say right. that you touch my arm. <laughs> oh, hey, with your... before we get into this, I got a present for you. Yeah? Yeah. This is a little thing called a drum mute. You put this on top of a snare drum. Right. Because I know you like to play. You put yeah. this on top of a snare drum. You get a snare drum sound, but hardly any uh, noise comes out. Well, so you can play in the house. You can play in the house. You can practice with it. You can do almost anything with it. That's great. So instead of working on your table, just take your little pencils and... So you do that, but... See that? Doesn't it work swell? I can't hear you. <laughs> you don't... Well, if you put that on top of a snare drum, you yeah. get the snare drum sound, but you get about 90% uh, quiet. Gee, that's... Thank you. That's very nice. You yeah. see, with all the cruelty that's within him, 
deep down inside. No, you... I just can't stand the way you play. <laughs> what the hey. What the what? Remember these guys? Okay. <laughs> That was good. Anything to get that rolling. Okay. Get rolling. Roll it. Roll it. You're going to play a little drum for us tonight? A little drum. And then Kathy. Uh, and Kathy's going to sing. Kathy's going to sing. Dance. All right. <laughs> we'll return. <laughs> Disneyland's a great place for you with all those little people walking yeah, around right. going. Hey, hey. <laughs> a double. Up. Little dwarfs out there. That's right. Mickey Rooney's sitting in this week. That's right. Okay. We'll be right back after a word from one of our sponsors. I'm going to play my little drum music here. What's a nice shoe like you doing in an age like this? Florsheim updates the 20s with a new Beaumont. Genuine leather right down to the stacked heel. The Beaumont by Florsheim, $32.95. There are so many USI Hillbilly and Cheap jeans that you could wear a different pair every day for a year without repeating yourself. And we make them fit beautifully. If they didn't, we wouldn't put our USI name on them or on any of our products. When we say USI makes a world of difference, this is what we mean. We're back, and the band is back, and Buddy is back. <laughs> well, we should probably uh, we should mention who's on the show tonight. Sandy Duncan and Roy Clark will be along, and Amazing Creskin will amaze us all. Yes, That's some amazing things planned. Uh, we should point out, you, maybe people are seeing us together for the first time, and they say, they got to detest each other. <laughs> they really do, and people sometimes will say, what's between you and Buddy Rich? We've known each other for, what, 15, 20 years? At least. And it's one of those ridiculous things we get in do of the zinging back and forth, and I, I don't know anybody I like better than this man sitting right here, and I respect more, and we, we start fooling around like this. I love you. Oh, There's nobody in the world like you. 
And That's I missed you last week, man. I really did, because I yeah. flew early and I get a chance to watch the show. He sent me a wire opening in Las Vegas. You know, usually people say good luck in the opening night. Uh, I know you'll be a smash. I just got this letter that says, of course. What was said. But the band is really, if wherever they're playing, you should really yeah. drop in and catch this band. And uh, I want to mention a couple of dates. September 11th, you'll be at California State College right. in um, Pomona, yeah. right? And September 14th at the University Center in Tacoma, Washington. Right. Those college days got to be marvelous. Up. Marvelous. The kids are just great. Kids are coming yeah. around again yeah. to this. Just coming out to their bands. I think Doc can attest to that. The kids are really great. Uh, you, just, you want to introduce? Go ahead. I just want to just mention the fact that we just signed with a new record company. Did can you I do that? that? Yeah. Sure. Uh, Groove Merchant. It's a very hip company, a brand new company. They just signed Carmen McRae and people like that. You weren't too happy with your affiliation with your other label, which we we shall not mention. Why not? Well, because it it uh, it's, a, it's a little close here to home. Oh, I see. Well, I won't mention them in that case. Okay. But I hated them. I know you didn't care for them, and uh, but sometimes a, one label is good for uh, Berlin Husky, and yeah, one label for? will be good for you. Right. Hmm. Mm. Do you want to introduce your daughter, or do you want to I know her. I don't have to introduce her. <laughs> no, I mean, you oh, want okay. to introduce her to the audience. Oh, yes, yes. I'm, right. Uh, it's my daughter, Kathy, and... Uh, but your only daughter. Yes. Okay. Of course it's my only daughter. She's 19 years old, and she sings beautifully, and... Uh, she was supposed to do the show with us May 11th on her birthday. And Is she, she going to talk with us first? And then she'll sing. Right, she's going to sing, she's sing, gonna sing first? first? This is the thing she's going to do called, uh, What Will They Say? What Will They Say? I hope they say a lot of nice things. Yeah. Kathy? Would you have them a very lovely young lady? Kathy Wilson. That was really lovely. Oh. It really was. You have a lovely, lovely quality in your voice. And your dad shows himself all the time with all of this outward emotion, display of hostility and saying he's sitting here and the tears are coming out of his eyes. But he's this way inside, right? He's a marshmallow, isn't he, really? Oh, definitely. Absolutely. Don't he blow my image, Captain. ruin his image. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's, what's he really like now? I've known him for a number of years. No, but I have to say, he's yeah. really a very nice person. <laughs> <laughs> well, that comes as a shock to you over there. No, most people think he's 
not very nice. Why is that, do you think? I don't know. I can't understand it. Uh, Look at him sitting there. Uh, <laughs> don't do it to me, Cat. <laughs> he was sitting. I remember I had, I had my son on once, Ricky, when he was about 12 or 13 once. And he came on and he said, he wanted to sing on the show. And I said, all right. He wasn't, you know. And he came on and he sang a little song, something like, there are bells in the da 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 da. And I'm sitting over here going, hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> A big schlemiel sitting here, and all the kid was doing was singing, you know. And I'm going, that'll be it's very, That's very tough, you know. I, I sit up here, and I'm really nervous. She told me backstage that she was really nervous. And I, I said, there's nothing to be nervous about. You just go out there and sing. And I'm terrified. I'm sitting here, don't forget the lyrics, and watch <laughs> the time, and sing in tune. And she didn't do any of those things. <laughs> <laughs> you see, now you got your, now you got your composure I back, and you're your nasty, you rotten self again, aren't Terrible. you? Uh, wait till Mommy sees this. Mommy's going to pass out. Yeah. Huh? Because she don't like you either. <laughs> you see, look at that defense. You, you see that? Child? See that? See that defense uh, he's got there? You want to adopt a child? <laughs> yeah, if I had a daughter, I'd like to have one like you. Oh, yeah. You. Is it true that your, your dad cries easily? Come on up. Can you tell? Well, yeah, but I mean, it's other things outside of this. Sure. When we watch TV at home, he cries. Like if we watch Lassie. <laughs> I want to hear, I want to hear all of this. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What? What particular episode? Uh, like when Lassie has to leave home. When Lassie le leaves home? He cries. He I'm cries. Where's the dog gonna go, man? <laughs> 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 where a lot of dogs I've known go, that's where they go. How do I know where a dog goes? But right. don't you know that's a story if Lassie leaves home? That the dog is an actor and he's going out to a kennel with Rod Weatherwax or <laughs> Wax Your Ears, who owns him and is eating I, I filet cry mignon. I'd cry at night. Star Trek, you know. I'd cry at Star Trek. These guys are flying around for 500 years with no place to go. <laughs> They've been on the road too long, that's what it is. I'm telling you, man. It's traveling in those man buses. Right. Where are we going? <laughs> oh, well, where's the dog gonna go? We'll, uh, we'll be back in a moment. Stay with us. This is Good Food, a new magazine from the publishers of TV Guide. And I'm its executive editor, Margaret Happel. Good Food is filled with time-saving cooking ideas and expert shopping advice. And whether you're a working wife or a busy woman at home, Good Food's entertaining articles and creative recipes make sense. I think you and your family will like it. So look for Good Food at your food store. Remember, Good Food. Pepto-Bismol presents Famous Last Brags. They don't make no mustard too hot for me. I got a cast iron stomach. Me? Get diarrhea? Never. File it on, Ma. I could eat a horse. I had four hot peppy heroes and a cupcake on a five-minute coffee break. Upset stomach? Pepto-Bismol coats and soothes comes between the upset and the stomach. Oh, that's better. It must have been the cupcake. Do you feel, <laughs> where is he going to go? Do you feel up to it with, I remember once you played with a, with a, with a broken arm when yes. you were with Dorsey. Uh -huh. um, does it bother you? Does this really bother no, you? No, I'll, you just, wanna, I'll just leave it out there someplace. You want to do a little thing yes. with the guys? <laughs> All right. Here, the world's greatest drummer. 
<laughs> Where's he gonna go? <laughs> started. You could blow with a broken leg, two broken arms, and I'm 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 guilty of that. And a uh, broken head, right? No, I'm I'm guilty of that. The uh, tom tom. You are? Yes. I thought that would be kind of amusing just to put kind of some starch yeah, parchment of paper there, you know, while a lot you of put your hands went into it. There. Yeah. Okay. So we'll we turn with our guest shortly. Right Where's after he gonna we go? take a pause. Where's he going to go after a pause for this commercial message? <laughs> <laughs> 